I honestly thought I would never make this video of an old video that I apparently did back in 2018 when I had my original YouTube channel. So to give you some context about it, apparently two years ago, I made a, well, I made, this is basically a series, like this is basically racing topics with me and press, but before then I made a series, the same series, but called Gas and Go, but I was not as active in that series like I am with Racing Topics with Ian Perez. But anyway, I apparently made a video about the 2018 Formula One Sochi Russia race. Ironically, it's coming out this Sunday. And like we were just talking about eh, Formula One uh, Sochi, like, oh, this race is a team motor race, this race is garbage. So she's a terrible track, blah, 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 blah. And then my good friend, Danny Adjurt48, he was like, hey, I still have your uh, video about you talking about Mercedes team motors from that race. I'm like, you did? Yeah, you want me to send it to you? Yeah. Like, honestly, I didn't even know how the hell, I didn't know he downloaded that stuff. But anyway, so I still have, so the video is here now. And honestly, before I begin, I honestly did not know I made this video. I honestly didn't know I made a video about the Mercedes T Motors from 2018. But here we are now. So with that being said, enjoy a little throwback of me complaining about team orders in Formula One and what happened from the 2018 Formula One Russian Grand Prix of Sochi. Enjoy. Team orders. Team orders is the reason why Formula One can be a buzzkill. That's pretty much the only buzzkill about Formula One. What is up, E-Nation fans? This is E-Nation48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Gas and Go. I'm pretty sure this is episode six or episode seven. Man, I gotta remember the episodes at all times. And today we're gonna be talking about the, the 2018 Formula One Russian Grand Prix and Honestly, I didn't pay a lot of attention to it. Like it, I'm, like, it was just early. Like, before I went to before I went to sleep last night, I, was, I had a feeling that I, I won't see the whole thing because I'll be sleeping. Like, I'll be missing a start. I actually missed the the first 34 laps. And I'm pretty sure, I don't think nothing much happened. All I know is that Brendan Hartley and some other driver got out of the race. Was it Charles Leclerc? Was it a wreck? Was it like a problem that they had? I don't know. But the main topic we're going to talk about is the finish of the Russian Grand Prix. I, I will admit, I didn't see the finish because I fell asleep. I was tired. It was, it, was, it was early. Come on now. Let it slide. So apparently everyone's getting mad about the, the Russian Grand Prix finish. Because of team orders, because uh, Mercedes uh, racing team told Valtteri Bottas to let Lewis pass because he was pretty much faster than him. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said in the intro, the only buzz kill about Formula One is team orders. Like, it's called racing for a reason, guys. You're supposed to race for the prize. It's called racing for a reason, guys. You're supposed to, like, race uh, race for yourself, race for your team, race for your fans and all that stuff. You're supposed to, like, race against each other for wins, including teammates. Uh, like, like, everyone else, Ferrari does that all, all the time. But Mercedes? Like, come on. I know this is not the first time there's been team orders to fuck up a finish in Formula One. Like, I don't, was it the worst race of 2018? Uh, the finish wise, yeah. I don't have anything against Hamilton, but I, I, I honestly blame Mercedes for the stupid team order call. Like, Botas hasn't won a race all year. It's just so close, so many times. You got some mishaps. And Nazi Motors. 
when will these guys learn? Like, one of the Mercedes cars was going to win either way. Why do team orders? Ridiculous. I didn't see the race a lot, but was it the worst race of 2018 in Formula 1? In my opinion, yes. Because of that. Team orders at the finish, honestly. I just don't get it. It's stupid. I know uh, this episode's mainly nothing and boring and all that, but what I had to say is that I know I keep saying this, but NASCAR is just, not NASCAR, Formula One, or the Formula One teams, they need to know that one of the cars are going to win either way. So what if the car is faster than the other car? You're supposed to race against the fast car for the win. It's flat out ridiculous if you're just going to win and give away a win like that. It's ridiculous. It's a, it's a turn off to the Formula One fans, especially the Botas fans. I know some Hamilton fans are celebrating. I know some are like, what? Or Mercedes fans is like, what? Oh my God. I don't know, dude. So yeah, my opinion, worst, worst Formula One race of 2018. It better not be like this in the Japanese Grand Prix. But, Danny Ricardo finished uh, sixth. So, a decent points day. So, yeah. So, yeah, I will do the uh, Haley Deegan thing as well in the next episode. And then the Robo. So, pretty much three videos, I guess. So, yeah. I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, oh, excuse me. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, my mean press 25 and e Nation 48. Like my Facebook page, you e ask 48 e Nation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more videos. And thank you guys for supporting e Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video.